what's up guys and I haven't talked to me in a bit you know I've been very busy so um yeah just just a quick what up um and also uh after being on my hormones for a year and a half on the lowest dosage well maybe not the lowest dosage but pretty damn low um for the past year and a half I've been taking I think like half a milligram of anti-androgen and um, one milligram of estrogen, um, which is pretty low. But um, looking at my blood work results with my doctor, he was pretty happy. Um, like where the levels were at. Like um, as far as my testosterone goes it's in a very low level like he said it was in the level that he would see in a um, post-op trans woman typically um and that's on the, like the a very low dosage so as far as my estrogen goes um the last time i went to see my doctor for whatever reason the estrogen levels uh weren't ready yet so we didn't get to look at those but but um i decided that I want to go up a bit, even though I decided not to do that a while ago. I changed my mind. Um, <sighs> trying to get comfy here. So, so about a week ago, I started taking two milligrams of estrogen. Um, why you ask? Seeing as I've been doing so well on such a low dosage, I mean, yeah, I, I think I've been doing pretty well, and that's a year and a half into hormones, um, not quite a year and a half, I actually think July 6th is going to be the actual one and a half year point, um, and I will do a video. You guys probably noticed that I, I used to do a monthly hormone update. I don't really see the need for that anymore, so I think now it'll just be like, um, like I think the last one I made might have been the one year update, uh, so I'll do one year, one and a half year two year, two and a half year, so on. Um, because doing it every month won't necessarily, I don't think it'll really um, help anyone because there'd be nothing new to say, like, <laughs> like from like six months to seven months to eight months to nine months. There's not really much to tell. Um, nothing's changed in the last month, so, <laughs> um, Hopefully, though, by then, a little bit will have changed anyway. Um, uh, what was I going to say before that? Uh, why did I want to go up, you want to know? Um, basically, I just want more physical changes like this. Um, they're there, but I'd like them to be bigger. Like, um, I know how, you, you guys know how, obviously, I'm going to have SRS. And um, I'm, I'm also going to have a nose job. Um, as far as my boobs go, that's going to depend on how big they get on their own. Like, if they don't get any bigger than this, they're, they're still pretty small. If they don't get any bigger, I might consider a boob job. But we'll see how big they get on their own. I don't want huge boobs, but I want it bigger than this. Like, they're, they're too small still. Um, I know, more money, but whatever. I want to be happy with who I am. Um, fuck, so many people would, like, slap me for saying all this, all this stuff. Um, you know, some people agree with all this stuff and some people don't, like, plastic surgery. And I say, why not, if it makes you happier with who you are? People say to be happy with your flaws and all that crap, but I don't know. I say if people don't want it, then they don't have to have it, but if people want it, then go for it. Why is that such a bad thing? Why should you try and convince people not to have it? I don't know. Um, but that one is a, um, it's just a possibility. The nose job and the SRS are for sure happening. Um, after I have money, of course, but But I'm thinking it'll be about another year before I'll be able to afford SRS. And then, um, and then I'll book it. 
Or maybe I'll even book it before I have enough money, because there will be probably be a waiting period. Um, and you know what I've been thinking, too, is that um, the exchange rate between Canada um, and uh, Thailand is pretty big. So if I were to save up another $2,000, there's no reason I couldn't, when I go to Thailand for my surgery, there's no reason I couldn't stay in Thailand for a few months, which is what I'm thinking of doing now. Why not? I mean, I'm, I'm young. Why not live a bit? <laughs> go spend some time in Thailand, a couple months. Um... It's not like I really have anything in Canada, so. So that was really just a little update video. I'm now on, um, well, slightly higher hormone levels. Um, still a lot lower than a lot of other people I know. But my doctor says that my, that for the dosage I'm taking, I've been doing really well in my like my testogen and estrogen that my testosterone levels and my estrogen levels are like around the same levels as like I guess a cisgendered woman would have I suppose um so why shouldn't I be happy with where I am there's no need for me to be taking like six milligrams which I know a lot of trans girls are and it and they're just uh it's like they're trying to speed up the process, but that's not really how it works. So, um, like it kind of will, but not really. Um, so yeah. Uh, what was it? What else was I gonna say? I know I still owe you guys a few videos, and I've been slacking hard, but it's well, I guess it hasn't really been slacking because I've been busy with other things. Like I have two jobs now, and I'm. And I work a lot, so. Actually, today is my first day off in probably over two weeks. So. Yeah. And it's not even really a day off. Like, I, I don't work at the shoe store today, but I work at the bar tonight. Whatever. Um, more money for my surgery. Oh, um. I guess another part of this update. If you guys listen to me talk as often as I do, then you'll know that right now I work in Toronto, but live in Oshawa. And uh, my job is a minimum wage job, and I spend at least $300 a month taking the train into the city and back. Um, so it's not worth it. I could be saving a lot more money if I worked at the mall in Oshawa, which is literally a 10 minute walk this way from my mom's house. Like, yeah, it's just so much, it would just make so much more sense for me to work there, right? Um, so that's the plan, I think. I know that this mall is opening up like five or six new stores in the, in the next few months, and I'm planning on getting a job at one of them. Um, and that's not necessarily what I want to do. If it weren't, for the situation I'm in, if I weren't trying trying to save like every penny for my surgery, then I would go live in Toronto. I like I I would try and find a job in a bar there, and then find a place down there and live there. And I wouldn't save as much money, but I wouldn't care. But the situation I'm in, I'm trying to save like every single penny I make. So so this is what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Anything else I gotta mention to you guys? I don't think so. So, yeah, quick update of my life. Oh, and I know I still owe you guys the video about, um... What is it? God damn it. Oh, uh, what you should eat and what you should not eat as far as helping your hormone levels. Um... I'll try and get to it on Tuesday. <laughs> Is it, you you see how much of a slacker I am, right? <laughs> Fuck, I hate myself sometimes. Well, I don't hate myself, but I hate that I'm a slacker. I really do. Oh, um, that does remind me of something else, though. Because uh, you know that I've been slacking hard on my legal name change uh, for, like, two years now. But I finally mailed in the form and everything. Uh, I did that maybe two weeks ago, so... I'm hoping in the next month I'll get something in the mail and my name will legally be changed. I'm hoping. 
Um, I'm hoping I didn't mess up something on the form or whatever. I'm, I'm hoping it all went through. But I guess we'll see. You guys will be the first to know if it does happen. And if it doesn't, I'll have to start again. But I'll try and make it happen faster. <sighs> okay, so, um, pointless video. But yeah, that's Zara Harley. Uh, yeah, so, peace out.